Good morning, Outdoor Office family. What are we doing today? We are going to be replacing the caulk underneath all the way around. And a bathtub here today. Uh, buddy of mine called me out and he said, hey, can you do this for me? I ain't really got an idea. So what I've done is I'm using this uh, Homax uh, caulk finishing set here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this. You have a flat side, obviously here, and then your pointed side. You're going to take that and run it all along that joint. You can see some of that caulk starting to come out here. And what I'm going to do, once I get it started, I could probably just be able to pull this out. But once we're done, we are going to be adding some dap this is the quick sale plus for kitchen bathtubs and plumbing uh, it has a mold guard so hopefully the mold will stay away but we got a lot to do under there so i'll show you what it looks like before and how to use this tool so stick in there with us the person that installed this bathtub they done it wrong they just allowed this joint from your top shower piece here right here and your bottom tub just overlap there is not a caulk joint anywhere in this area nowhere only at the sides here so that's the only place they put caulk nothing underneath all the way around so this is our first piece we got out and that's essentially the same length as this whole front part at your spigot and all so right now i'll finish getting it out or what's there and then i'll go back clean it all up get like a Clorox wipe out of the truck and wipe all that stuff down and then I'll put a new bead of caulk hang in there with us yeah I'm sitting down on the job outdoor office family but sometimes you got to do that to get up under all this stuff but you know what this is right good old caulking gun pretty decent caulking gun it's got your I'm gonna call your needle or sorry about the light in the background there and just trying to add some more light here in the bathroom but this will puncture your uh, barrier that's here little full barrier that keeps the uh, caulking in and then they also have a knife on the caulking gun right here that you can put the tip of your caulk gun in and clip it off whatever you want so obviously the more you clip your caulk down here the larger your bead the little bit more waste you're going to have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off about that much probably a quarter of an inch so i'll just put my finger in here so you can see there's my whole size right there. Now, after that, take your little needle, poke it in there a couple good times. When you know you're in, you'll see caulking on there. So, put your needle back up. Now, to load your caulking gun, Head in in first. I'm going to take this trigger. Well, not the trigger, but this release. Pull your stopper all the way back. Back in in first. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, getting a little too quick here. And then just start. You can see that gap close right here. Watch this as I take it. See that? And what I like to do is to make sure, 
uh, caulking coming out. Yep, right there. Now we're ready to go. This is going to be hard to show you guys, but hang in there. All right, you're going to see the back of my head, but I'm going to start over here in the corner for you. I'm going to start my bead. I'm going to run my bead all the way up in here. how nice and pretty that is going across through there all right just going to release it so obviously you have some excess up under there. I'll take my finishing tool and or your finger, this little radius here, and I can take and I can pull that all the way across that bead to clean it right up. Can we do it now? Why not? Let's just do it now. Look at that. Look how well that cleans up. Now over here in these corners, right here, you'll have to do a little bit of touch up by your finger. But there's the first joint down, right there. So, we'll finish the rest of them and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, we're done. Look up under there. Take you all the way to the back, to the back wall here. All the way to the front where the spigot's at. And all the way out to the end. So yeah, we're done. What do y'all think? I think it turned out pretty good. Nothing like making a quick uh, hundred bucks for about 30 minutes worth of work. So y'all be good. This is Larry Johnson from the outdoor office. And I just showed you how to reseal a bathtub by removing the old caulk, cleaning it up, putting another bead down, finishing it off. Nothing to it but to do it. Y'all be good. And this is Larry Johnson from the Outdoor Office. And thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. And always remember, no matter what the season, we got you in our sights. Y'all have a great day.